coming in. Yeah. Hi, what's good, everyone? And welcome back to another video. Uh, I've been injured for over a week now. Or not injured, but I had a fumble on the airbag again, and I uh, pulled some muscles behind my ribs. I know it sounds a bit weird, but it feels like pretty much someone is just having a sword and like ticky 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 in my ribs. So I can't barely even breathe or or like uh, flex my ab muscles. So uh, yeah, it's been a real a painful week. So I haven't been able to ride bikes, and that's why I've done all of these other things around riding bikes. Uh, and today is no difference. I'm up in my old house, I'm gonna do some uh, bike work but and also thanks a lot for all the cool responses we had on Anton T. Lander's Pro Talk episode. Uh, I think it was really good, it was really nice to like bring that out to the world because I know he'd never really like told anyone what, why he quit riding so that's sick and uh, I love Anton and it's sick to have him back and he wants to do more in biking again which is absolutely insane. I just want to ride bikes. This happened just a couple days after I got home from uh, New Zealand, so I haven't been able to ride much, So, but I'm feeling better. I also pulled a muscle in my back. I've been going to the physio a couple times and stuff like that, trying to fix it as much as possible, but it just takes, takes time. It's the same as I did with my neck last year during Innsbruck, so I, I guess I'm a bit luckier now, but yeah. <coughs> Let's go to the garage. All right. By the thumbnail and the title of this video, you already know that I'm gonna do some downhill bike upgrades. Uh, I have some new parts, I have some new partners and stuff, so uh, yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna set it up in a different way, change some parts and make it a lot sicker and uh, yeah. And don't worry, I'm gonna bring in my dad to cut my steer tube, so I'm not upsetting any more people about it, so it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be very, very, very nice and a well cut. All right, so all of you guys know that I've switched sponsors this year, so I'm riding for Marsaki and Shimano. The Shimano parts haven't got here due to the coronavirus. All of them are gonna come here next week, so that's gonna be a huge day or week of just changing out all the parts on my bikes. Brakes, gears, crank sets, and all of the other parts that we're riding for Shimano. And also, I switched to Marsaki. So, new suspension, just look at that. How sick is that looking? That's so sick, I love it. And uh, also we're gonna change out the suspension on my down bike today. So we're gonna do a full suspension swap. We're getting rid of that and that, and we're gonna put on, on the rear shock, we're gonna put on a Fox Flow 2. This one, the murdered out black one, because I just love black on black, you know, it looks good. And for the fork, we have this guy, the Bomber 58 one. Um, yeah, this fork is just really, really sick. It's, the bike is actually gonna look quite similar because I'm changing from red fork to red fork, but this one's just a lot more robust and it's like a lot sicker. I like it when it feels like a lot of fork, you know? And uh, I'm also gonna change out to a new seat, a title seat, because I'm not running it at the moment, and also a title seat post. A bit of uh, bike maintenance today due to my injured back, and but it's feeling a lot better, actually. I'm gonna go to my physio tomorrow and get it cracked up and massage to fix it as soon as possible. Before we get into today's video, I'm gonna do a little bit of a giveaway to you guys to show you how much I appreciate you because all the nice comments lately and all of the views are going up and the subscribers are going up and I'm just really thankful for that. So I'm gonna be giving away uh, a hoodie together with a t-shirt and a beanie from uh, my own merch store. So uh, yeah, basically everything you have to do to be able to do that is just subs subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and uh, like this video. And then when you're done, to just make it a lot easier to me so I don't need to track everyone down, put a comment down below and say I'm done with the thing. I would love to give every single one of you like the full package, but obviously that's a bit, it's not really realistic. But yeah, thank you guys a lot anyways for all the support. And uh, this is just a little tiny way of me getting back somehow. And did it without harming any sort of parts. <laughs> Max and dad. <laughs> well, I brought my dad down there to uh, do the cutting thing and uh, obviously he's a super super like 
EP guy when it comes to that. That's perfect. Like I've never seen a cut on one of my bikes that good. That's the old cut of the old four. I used a grinder for this one. <laughs> But now I'm uh, way more responsible and I'm gonna do it perfectly every time now or I'm gonna lay it out to someone else to do it perfect for me because it turned out that I'm maybe not the best bike mechanic in the world. So I'm gonna use my dad in the future for that. I was thinking about a thing because I'm always fucking around with my dad all the time. So I thought I might do start a little bit pranking my dad segment in uh, every video when he's around. So. A bit of grease to keep this little well built up. Oh, with the top plate. All right, since I'm retarded and I started building it together, I realized that I haven't put one of these in the star nut. And I'm sorry, like, it, we, all, we did everything clean up until now, but to be honest, this is actually how I do this. So I do that and it fits pretty good in there. And then I'm usually just taking any screw type of screw that are not actually going into the headset because the one that going into the headset is gonna break if I do it. And that's how I do that. To any bike mechanic that are watching this, I'm sorry, but that's just how I danced since I was a little kid. And uh, it worked out good for me. Maybe if someone handed me a tool, I'd try it out. It looks so much cleaner with the black top as well. It looks so murdered out and nice. Just when I thought I actually did something right, I realized that I didn't put the cables inside of it. There we go. Yeah, look at that. So sick. And I actually love that the color here matches the frame red a lot better than the old red that is over there. Yeah, this is gonna be sick. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content that I'm putting out as well. Like now for example when I've been unable to ride bikes and I still kind of make videos, uh, you guys are still showing so much support and I love that and uh, I know for a fact, like I know that you guys want to see riding videos and bangers and stuff like that but if I'm gonna put on these frequently like all year round it's gonna be hard for me to ride all the time and I guess you guys understand that but I just want to make it clear that I want to do exciting content for you guys and I have so many like insane plans for what I want to do but sometimes things just get in the way and I'm just super thankful that you guys are still supporting whatever I do and uh, you guys are the best that's just what I want to say for now. all right front end is finished that's actually so sick I expected that to be way harder than it actually was to like take it off. I have taken off a lot of rear shocks in my days, but yeah, hopefully this should be no problem. We should be good. I hope. <laughs> I did realize that I needed to change the mounting rings on it to uh, just some other spacers. And that's perfect. Rear shock is on as well. Look how clean that look without the white logos on. It's just like completely black and murdered out. I see now that I actually should change that cockpit into a black and black one, but I didn't have a black stem, so I need to order that and then I can change to a black bar as well. But yeah, it might not look that different, but like in real life, it looks a lot more like a lot of details that were color like you know the white on there and this one's not black either so it looks a lot more like fresh i'd say yeah the seat post the seat post and seat 
Okay, I know for a fact that it's so stupid to do this one-handed. I know for a fact that I need to cut this one down a little bit. So I called in dad to do it anyways, because everything has been so smooth today. Nothing has been broken, no scratches or anything. So I thought, why not let him finish the job and do it properly all the way? I know I made a fool of dad when I like did my tires 10 times faster than he did last video so i thought i'll make him look good on this video before there we go see that's all the things that i would never do if i did it myself there you have a clean cut <laughs> like what on earth is that carbon cut is the worst thing i've ever seen and now i have a clean one a perfect clean And we're finished. So clean, so happy about the outcome. Just look how clean that is. And that, and that. Just all these small details that are making the bike a lot sicker and a lot cooler. And it's gonna be so sick to like fine tune all the suspension and stuff. Cause obviously I've never ridden with the Fox or uh, Marsaki before on the downer bike or any of my bikes. So I'm super stoked about that. It's gonna be sick to try it out. It's gonna be sick to like, get used to all the settings and stuff, but I'm definitely gonna take it to someone that is really good at suspension and like do like a fine tuning of it with them. I'm go going to my physio guy tomorrow to get me fixed up and then we can start training hard again for the contest season that we don't even know what's happening with because of the situation in life. I just and remember to subscribe if you wanna enter the giveaway and win a set of uh, merch freshly for the spring. Uh, got some new merch uh, pieces coming in soon. Maybe some hats, you never know. Uh, yeah. Sick. So so stoked about how the bike turned out. And yet again, thank you guys a lot for watching. Comment down below what you want to see in the future, and I'll make it happen. Peace.